Okay, so we're gonna run two different meters. One's the Harbor Freight. The other one is the Sonova. Both of these style meters are unfused for the high current. We're gonna start our sweep at five amps and we're gonna increment by five amps up to 70 amps and we'll see how much the circuit board can handle. we're currently at 25 amps meters dissipating roughly 13 and a half watts it's currently at 50 amps see how the shunt's glowing red now The plastic's on fire. This will be the Anova 3320. Again, it has an unfused high current input. So we're currently at 5 amps. Meters dissipating roughly 0.6 watts. We're at roughly 30 amps, we can see a little bit of smoke coming off of the meter. Looks like we have molten solder now. You can see the shunt is starting to glow red. This is 34 amps. It's currently 40 amps. It's really starting to glow now. This is roughly 45 amps. Oh, just blew open. I'm a little surprised that they could get this thing UL listed not having a fuse. That and this meter actually came with a glass fuse in it. Fair amount of damage, but this is why you don't want to buy a meter that doesn't have a fused current input. Red traces are Anova, the white's the Harbor Freight Meter. This is currently looking at power dissipation. This third hump is roughly 5 watts. This is roughly 10 watts, 20 watts. We start looking up in this range here. This is roughly 60 watts. And we can see where the Anova broke down at. And up here, this is where the Harbor Freight broke down at. If we look at this in current, Again, each one of these steps is at 5 amps, starting with 5 amps, that's 5, 10, 15, on up. So we can see here this is uh, 40 amps, and we can see the ANOVA on the next step to 45 amps. It broke down and opened up, and we can see our Harbor Freight Meter makes it all the way to 45 amps, and then it breaks down and opens up. I think in some cases if you're working on the bench and you have a power supply with a current limit you could get away with a meter like this. Of course the Harbor Freight leads couldn't handle this level of current but a lot of the other leads I tested could. But I'd be pretty concerned about taking an unfused meter like these two out into the field. You know you put these things across the AC lines and you know you're gonna have quite a bit more current than what I'm running through them and you know yeah who knows what's gonna happen. 
Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Again, stay away from glass fuses. Till the next test.